Okay, so we've already looked at fast bowling as part of our tactical section uh, within the Taunton School Cricket on Firefly. Um, and now we're just going to talk a little bit around the principles of playing spin from a tactical perspective, different technique uh, in Marcus using the press and anything else around what he used to do when he was successful at playing spin. You used the press, uh, what was that for? Um, so a couple of different things really, partly it's to try and get me a bit lower, so I obviously wanted to try and make, make my stance was a bit wider, to obviously get down. And then you're trying to make your, your, your foot movement, trying to get your feet all out of the way, trying to get all the movement done and dusted, because you're trying to pick the ball. And if you imagine you're facing the best bowler in the world, a Shane Warne or a Matai Muralitharan, you need to be able to pick what ball they're bowling to be able to then react off the pitch what it's going to be. So I'm trying to get, making the press forward, and then if I, by the time I've picked what's going to happen, I don't have to move very far to make a decision what I'm going to try and do after that. So it also gives you a great base to be able to push back from, to then give you, get yourself away from the ball, to get you, give yourself room that you can then score off the back foot. So the two main reasons, obviously, those. So you talked about being in a lower position, that to get underneath the flight of the ball? Yeah, well, if you've got to, you're trying to think about, right, if I've got to play a forward defensive, um, I don't want to try and generate too much movement to the ball. Right, so I want to be able to, when, when the ball hits the bat, it almost drops dead straight in around you. And if I'm up high like that, and then I get a big movement into the ball, I'm putting a lot of energy into it. So getting down lower will help you pick in the length because you're obviously trying to see it from a different angle. But it also gets your body and your head closer to the ball once you've made that decision in what you're going to do. So there's less energy then going back onto the ball. So you've got less foot movement, which enables you to con control and soften your hands to yep. the ball. You also mentioned there about um, either getting close to the spin of the ball or getting away from the ball. Yeah, so again, so you're down low in that position, trying to judge the length of the ball's coming at you. Remember, you're facing the best bowler in the world, so his disguise of whether it's a googly, a top spin, or whatever it may be is very good. So at that point then, if you're trying to see the length, you're then going to get forward as quick as you can to the length of the ball, hitting it to where you needed to do, depending on which way it's spinning, or if not, you're making that press and then you're getting back away so you create the time for when the ball pitches and the ball's going to spin to give yourself room to be able to hit it into the gap square of the wicket. Good. Um, you talked there about facing different deliveries. Did you have any particular uh, methods that you used to try and spot the Google or the arm ball or whatever it might have been? You've got to watch the ball. That, at the end of the day, that's the key thing. But um, many people have the disguise of what it may be. Uh, and the more you face these, the best bowlers in the world, the more you see little something. And it might just be, you know, some people bowl a leg spin that way, some people bowl a googly and you can see the back of their hand. Merlitheran had his off spinner and then he bowled one that came out the side. So you're trying to pick up little clues in body, in arms, in speed or whatever it may be. Some people you can pick it in the hand action. Some, some people run in and the ball's in a different position in their hand so you can tell when they're going to bowl a, a googly or something different. But you've just got to watch the ball really well. And if you get no clues, at the end of the day, the last thing you can do is watching the ball as it's rotating down on the way it's coming down to you because there'll be a little peer, a little ball, like a 50p shape in the middle of the ball, you'll be able to see which way it's spinning. So you've got to watch really closely uh, and watch it really late because you might not pick it right just before it's going to bounce and then you can make a decision. So in essence, you're watching anything the bowler might do differently or just watching the ball. So we've talked there about the general principles that Marcus used to play spin. Now, we're just going to talk a little bit about his game plan for playing against different bowlers. Yeah, so I think it, it comes down to whether you're facing an off spinner, a left arm spinner, or a leg spinner, depending on what they're trying to do. So an off spinner for me, very simple. I'm trying to score in two or three areas. One would be I'm trying to get full to the ball to try and hit through the offside. One I'd be trying to get back and away to cut use the back cut going anywhere down in this sort of third man area and then eventually I'd be getting down for a little paddle sweep to try and get fine leg move quite fine. Facing a left arm spinner or potentially a leg spinner would be completely different. I'd be looking to use the sweep a lot more because the ball is now turning into me uh, and I would be looking to use my feet also to hit through the leg side as pick up as much as possible and then with the leg spinner the option would be the same as the left arm spinner but then you're trying to pick his googly which with the field set, he's got everybody on one side. If you pick his googly, get away, you can put him away for four through the through backward point.
So some really simple principles there, which then end up with a very clear game plan for different bowlers. So it's about thinking about them, but also practicing, find your method that you're gonna use against spin around other bowlers as well. Another word Marcus used again was that control at contact from a good base and also letting the ball come to him so he plays the ball at the right time for him. See another section of Firefly for playing the ball late.